Hello, I am Douglas, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Auckland, New Zealand. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve the request has expired error when you are trying to access an Amazon Simple Storage Service object. Let's get started. You receive the request has expired error when you use a pre-signed URL to try to access an Amazon S3 object but the link has expired. For the purpose of this demo, I have created a pre-signed URL for this S3 object. I have set the link to expire in one minute. When attempting to access the URL after one minute has passed, I get the request has expired error that include the expiration timestamp. To resolve this issue, we need to generate a new pre-signed URL. To use the Amazon S3 console, Select the object and then choose share with a pre-signed URL under the actions dropdown. You can set the expiration time between one minute to 12 hours. After you set the expire, choose create pre-signed URL. You will see a message on the top of the screen that says a pre-signed URL for object has been created and copy to your clipboard. If you need to, you can choose this button to copy the link. Another option is you can also use the AWS command line interface. When you use the AWS CLI, you can set the expiration time up to seven days. To use the AWS CLI to create a link, run the AWS S3 pre-sign command. In the command, include your bucket name, object key, and the expiration time in seconds. If you are a developer, then most AWS SDKs have functions to generate pre-sign URLs in different program languages like Python, JavaScript, and Java. Make sure that you have the correct AWS IAM permissions. You can use either an IAM user or role or AWS security token service for temporary credentials. If you use temporary credentials to create the pre-signed URL, then the link expires when the credentials expire, even when you specify expiration time is longer. And now you know how to resolve the request has expired error when you are trying to access an Amazon S3 object. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.